You can get enough protein from fruit. I believed all of that nonsense. But you want it. Being vegan, living my best vegan life. It's Gary, the high fruit carburetor. I've been a vegan for 23 years, and I like to tell people on the internet about how I never have cravings. And that's because I eat the carburetor diet. And then I promote my video. Tell them to watch and learn. Well, for the last few days now, I've been having a lot of cravings. Do you think I should contact Dr. Eric Berg? I wonder what Dr. Oz would say. What do you think? You think I just need to have a burger? Yeah, just this week I've been getting comments. Maybe this is a good video to show that hater comment. Well, at least part of it. It was a long one. Very impressive. Saying a lot of my opinions on social media, probably because uh, I'm lacking the quality protein. And I wasn't even having a diet discussion about that guy. It was more political. But since I've got the word vegan in my name now, I'm getting attention for that. And yeah, that was one of the reasons I did it. My name makes it more clear. Now, the other one, Left the door open. Closet door. <laughs> you think I just need to have a burger? Well, I don't think so. What I've been doing for about 18 days now, I've been eating a 100% fully raw diet. Remember all summer where I was into the fruitarian summer? And I was talking about I'm going to be going 100% raw for a period of time. And that's good for cleansing and other stuff. But notice it never came around. That's because I never did it. I did make a video talking about the fruit crisis. I'll put that up here. I also would like your feedback about if this crisis is in your location too. The high prices and the lack of variety, non-ripe fruit, and that's why I never did it. And yes, fruit is the way to go raw. But as I say, you gotta have the variety or you just can't keep up the diet because your body and taste buds are going to get bored of the lack of variety. One term for that is palate burnout. It's not like you can just eat 30 bananas a day or so and keep doing that indefinitely. But anyway, since it's the end of summer and it's now or never, I decided to do it as long as I could. And it went better than expected. One of the best things that got me through was these great mangoes. Giant mangoes. And they're really High quality, too. Some of the best tasting ever. But that only lasted like a week. At the 99 cent store, they have these. Oh, I could smell it. I could smell it from here. But again, I can only eat so many of these. My stomach starts feeling weird. That's just a weird thing with me and mangoes. So after about two weeks, I started you know, thinking about not meat. No, I, I was thinking about all sorts of foods. Basically, anything cooked. I would see the potatoes in the pantry. I usually just don't have cravings like that. Or I'd be thinking about food and I really want it. Well, one of the reasons I got by on a raw food diet is I decided oh, I just won't eat a lot. And also when you're on a diet like that where there isn't much variety, you lose your taste for the foods, you're automatically just not going to eat as much as you otherwise would. And that is not good. And also I have another problem that I don't have time to get into. And I think it was affected by the diet I was on. So I decided to call it quits. So I ended that last night. And now I'm 80% raw. And I think I can stay around there for a few weeks. So the lesson here is it's possible to do a good thing in a bad way, where it's no longer good anymore. And I was shopping the other day. There was a good deal on this. And of course, just being in the store, you get cravings. And also, I want to mention that this very can here, when I looked at it at the store, gave me an idea for my next video. Short and sweet. So I think, oh no, I'm ahead of where I was health-wise. Hopefully there were more benefits than drawbacks. Got in some detox. And if you think about how I just went three weeks without wheat, that's the worst thing I eat. All that heavy stuff. Oh yeah, I wasn't eating all fruit, I should mention. I was eating some sunflower seeds and buckwheat. 
And if you don't count buckwheat as a grain, I went over two weeks without any grain. That's a good like reset for your system, not having to deal with those foods. Okay, one more thing I want to mention is that yesterday was World Food Day. And that doesn't sound really exciting, but I found this. It turns out it's an important thing to promote certain things, like the stuff right here in this list. Now, some people on Twitter, using the hashtag World, World Food Day, they weren't in really into the important stuff. <laughs> they were just talking about bacon and how much they love it. Hashtag I love bacon, which reminded me of the video I made with that song in it. The guy singing I love bacon. Here's the video now. Bacon. Logic goes out the window for bacon. I love bacon. Although I haven't had bacon in about 25 years. Were you going vegan? What are you doing? When someone gives bacon as an excuse, I put myself into their minds. This video is to give you some insight on how you can get your fat ass off of bacon. Because really, it's like a drug. And I can prove that. Welcome to the advice show. There was a woman that recently was found guilty of shooting her gun inside of a McDonald's drive through window because he didn't put bacon on her burger. The trial was heard over two days. The bacon mess up at the window. She would have to generate so much anger because it didn't have bacon on her burger. Give me bacon. Most people live their lives in quiet desperation. Most people are also meat eaters. They go their entire lives without knowing why we live. And it's, it's not, not for bacon. bacon. Just click on that video if you want to see it. It's just real funny. And what's amazing is how I interweave helpful things, education, into a video that's comedy. Or am I mixing comedy into the education? Just tricking people. Thumbs up, share, subscribe, and keep clicking.